Today's video is going to be about a raid support. One of the best raid supports that can maximize your damage. And we're talking about Fire Vampire Vertiheal. I'm going to tell you how to ruin them, how to build them, what stats to prioritize, and exactly how to use them. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell ding and ding and thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. All right, Vertiheal, he is your raid support. He is used in multiple different raids. He's not like the greatest choice for like regular dungeons for speed clearing. He is better for fights that take a little bit more time. So we are talking about raids. We are also talking about guild raid. You can literally use him in any raid. He will maximize your soul link monster. It just depends on whatever your role is in the raid. If it's a normal raid like Naraka, Twisted Marsh, Tree of Heroes, you guys are just doing damage, so this is for your damage dealing soul link. This also includes world boss. Do as much damage as you can. For guild raid, it might be a little different. You could be your main debuffer for Fermion to apply his damage taken up, which is unremovable and is different from the other damage taken up like Helia. There could be another member that's spamming Helia but having Vertiheal in that team comp is going to make it beneficial. You could be using Naomi with crit damage taken up debuff to the boss with Vertiheal, or if you've gotten the luck with Genos and pulled him, you might be using him instead. Or you could be your team's support and spamming Windy crit damage buff for your whole team. Regardless of any role you're doing, Vertiheal can help you if you're just spamming Soul Link. Every critical writ Vertiheal does, he has a 25% chance to apply a level 1 Thirst. This is important. When he uses his second skill and he has level 10 Thirst, he will apply level 1 Mana Regen Speed up and level 1 Mana Cost down. So you can use a 3 Mana Cost Soul Link for 2. This also gives Attack Speed up to all allies, which helps Vertiheal as well. His first skill gives himself level 2 Thirst and applies Crit Res down, which is highly important in Tree of Heroes. But it's also good every other raid too. So with these two skills, he's really, really good non-Soul Link monster. However, you do switch to Soul Link to him, and I will get to that in a minute. His ultimate is what is highly important. His ultimate is a level 3 mana cost down, level 3 mana regen speed up, and level 3 attack speed up. So when your ultimate gauge is full, you switch to Vertiheal, use his ultimate, and then you go back to your normal Soul Link monster, whether that's a damage dealer or a support. This lets you spam that Soul Link tremendously. But how do you build him? He's a support, he's not there for damage, so you don't necessarily need to build him for damage. If you can, so be it. He's not going to put out the greatest damage, but really the main stats you want to focus on. 100% crit rate right off the bat. This is for his passive. His basic attack when it crits, it gives him a 25% chance to give him thirst. So that means the second best stat to build on him is attack speed. His third set to prioritize is accuracy. Doesn't have to be too crazy because you really want to focus mainly on crit rate and attack speed. And then you want a little bit of precision just so he doesn't get evaded. This is the main support build for Vertiheal. If you want to make him a somewhat mediocre damage dealer, you can go crit rate, then attack speed, then crit damage and attack. But really, he's just there to support your soul link. The best rune sets for him is Swift 100% to boost that attack speed up. And then it just really depends on the substats of all of your runes. But a secondary good set for him is Blade. You need that crit rate up anyway, right? If you use Swift Blade, you can then focus mainly on attack speed. And because I just have him as a support, I'm not worried about the damage that he does. I have crit rate percent main stat in my slot four. So using Swift Blade and then using a crit rate percent main stat in slot four. In other runes, I really don't need rolls to go into crit rate or I don't even need crit rate as a substat at all. Like this is a one roll of crit rate. This doesn't even have crit rate. Neither does this one. 
It just makes it easier to prioritize attack speed. So how I build him is attack speed in slot two for a main stat, crit rate in slot four. And honestly, this is just a defense flat main stat that has 15 attack speed. And these are survivability substats, which is what I just want him to have. But I'm focusing on attack speed rolls like this rune, five star rune. I can get six star runes, sure. But every single roll went into attack speed, which is huge for Vertiheal. This is a great rune. And for skill ups, yeah, you can fully skill him out with Devilmon, sure. I was unfortunate enough to have to do that, but you don't need to fully skill Vertiheal, especially if you're using him as a support like I am. You want to at least make sure that his ultimate is maxed out, his passive is maxed out, and his second skill is maxed out. Because what we use him for is really just these three. Now I'm going to show you how to use him in a raid setting. There's two different ways you can use him. One is with a team comp that has two damage dealers. What I like to do in the beginning is I use Vertiheal's first skill as Soul Link. This will give him a level 2 Thirst, as you see here. And you can do this before the fight even starts. So if you're walking up to the boss, you can use it and use mana and the mana will regen and then you'll start the boss with two thirst. And then when the fight starts and you get the 10 mana, you use it again and then you have already six thirst. You wait for your damage dealers off a of soul link to use their skills. And then all you do is go ahead and switch to your damage dealer and blam, blam, blam. And then you will see when Vertiheal has 10 thirst, you can either A, switch to him and use his second skill to apply the uh, mana regen speed up, but you can just let him do his thing off of soul link. And then what happens is your soul link monster, your damage dealer now has skills that are lower mana cost. And of course, when Vertiheal uses that second skill on level 10 thirst, he gives his team a level 2 attack speed buff, which helps him get to level 10 thirst really quickly as well. So by the time that second skill of a soul link comes up again, you get level 2 attack speed again, and you get the mana cost down and the mana regen speed up. Now during the fight, of course, while you're using all these soul link damage skills, your ultimate will be going up. So when your ultimate gauge is full, you want to wait until the mana cost down is off. As you see right here, it falls off now. I switch the Vertiheal and use his ultimate. And when you see the mana cost change to one, then you switch back to your damage dealer and you have a one mana cost skill that you are just spamming and spamming and spamming and spamming and spamming. And it's huge damage. And with this mana cost one, your ultimate is going up. It's going up again because you're using this skill nonstop. So you're already at halfway ultimate gauge already. So this is one way to use Vertiheal. The other way is just doing a single damage dealer team comp. And this is with Vertiheal and Tiana. I showcased this in a guild raid video, but I will explain it here. For this to showcase better, I'm going to burn the actual ultimate gauge so I can show this at zero ultimate gauge. Now, Tiana, or if you have Light Polar Queen, please use Light Polar Queen. Holy crap. But with Tiana, what she does is she increases ultimate gauge by 20%. She also has a chance to increase your mana by one. It's a 50% chance. You have to be good with switching soul links in battle. While dodging red stuff, you know, not dying. But really what you do with Tiana, Vertiheal, and your damage dealer. We're going to start the fight like so. And what we're going to do is just spam Tiana's skill so that we get that ultimate gauge up. And really right off the bat, we are almost at full ultimate gauge from zero. So we're going to use the ultimate gauge. We have the ultimate. We switch to Vertiheal. We use Vertiheal's ultimate. Then we switch to Narin Ha. And bam, we got damage for mana cost one right at the beginning of the match over and over and over. Once the mana cost buff goes away, then you switch back to Tiana after she you see her use her skill. You then spam the ultimate engage. And then you ultimate again with Vertiheal. Switch back to Narin Ha. Rinse and repeat. It's over and over and over until that boss is dead. 
you will do a ton of damage with this team comp. But like I said, before you switch to Tiana, let her use her skill off of non-soul link. Then you go back and use the ultimate again. And I mean, look how fast this is happening. I mean, I already have ultimate again, switch to Vertiheal, use the ultimate, go back to Narinha, bam. And if I were you, I would spam the soul link skill. Don't let auto do it for you. Sometimes it can delay. This combination is crazy. It's even crazier with Light Polar Queen. But this is a Vertiheal showcase, and this is what Vertiheal can do for your damage. It's an extreme difference to not using Vertiheal. But again, this is for longer duration fights. You don't need to use Vertiheal in regular dungeon clears. But that's it for today's video. Just wanted to showcase Vertiheal, how to build them, how to use them. You will see a tremendous difference if you use Vertiheal on your team. And even if you apply Tiana with Vertiheal. If you like all my videos and content, sub, like, ding, ding, a bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.